hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and recently vector database word is on boom cause there are large language model with which you can talk to documents uh, you can talk to sql database uh, you know you can create chat agent you can do you know different stuff around this space and when you talk about these solutions you will heard a word called vector database so in the space of vector database there are multiple players but i have been using quadrant for my personal and client projects because there are two things first it's easy to spin up a quadrant server and second it is very easy to connect it using uh, python or javascript so in order to use quadrant locally you first need to have docker installed on your system once you have docker installed on your system you can simply pull the latest docker image and if i go to documentation we will see a quick start guide as well so if i go to this quick start guide you will see this command that will create a persistent directory as well so that if you stop the docker server and start it again you will see all your collections there so yeah the docker image is pulled now so if i say docker images you will see that quadrant latest is there so i'll paste this command and it will spin up a local server and we can see the dashboard here as well so you can see i have a couple of collections here now uh, i have a code written for this demonstration so the first thing i'll do is that i'll create a virtual environment python 3 oh uh, sorry hyphen m v e n v v e n v and then source into this newly created venv and then pip install hyphen r from requirements.txt file meanwhile let me walk you through what we are doing so we are using sentence transformer all mini lm l6 version 2 uh, for encoding the text into vector and then with the same encoder we will you know encode the query and then search uh, into this space uh, let me select the kernel here as well uh, i'm not sure why it's not showing the latest kernel it is my venv that is needed to be connected Mm, yeah let me do one thing first uh, test dot pi you can fall into this trouble as well so from here i will select the latest kernel yeah enter the interpreter pass find path so yeah it is here into the bin oops select python interpreter bin and then yeah python 3 yeah you can see now it is connected so now if i come here and hopefully uh, i'll see yeah now this is the one on which i want to connect so now i'll minimize this now i will run few cells Uh, then I'll create my encoder. I'm using device CUDA because I have GPU available. But if you don't have GPU, you can use CPU here as well. Now, these are few documents, sample documents that we will upload to the vector database. Now you can see here in the quadrant configuration, I'm using localhost and 6333 so on which the quadrant is running in case you don't want to install docker and all the stuff 
you can always go to the cloud and then create your free account uh, which provides 4 GB of the storage and once you you know create account and set up your quadrant cloud it will provide you api key and quadrant url so here you need to provide the api key as well like uh, this api underscore key and that will be the key from quadrant so this is how you can set up the cloud as well and here in the interface uh, you have Python client, uh, JavaScript, Rust, Go, .NET, and Java. And if you go to the Python client, you can read more about the Python client and what different stuff you can do with that. So here, let me connect to the Quadrant client. Now, the first thing we will do is that we will use recreate collection to create a new collection. If it exists, then overwrite it. And in the vectors config, we will say that the size of my vector will be encoder get sentence encoding dimension. And then the distance that I want to use is cosine. So when I click here, you will see the true result. And if I come here and refresh this, hopefully my books is there. And if I go to the info, you will see that. Um, here somewhere uh, we will see the dimension as well yeah it is 384 and the distance is cosine now once the collection is created let's create records from uh, this uh, documents so i'll loop over the documents then I'll create records, uh, which will be uh, records that Quadrant can understand. It has ID, vector, and payload. Payload will be the whole document. So let me run this cell, oh, uh, this one, I guess. Yeah, if I just quickly see the records, you will see this kind of record that Quadrant understands now let's upload the records on the collection so you can see it was very fast as well and if i come to the points you can see the points so each point is a single document you can see it has a key author description name here now very quickly let's run a simple query uh, where the description has these words or you know the description contains something around alien invasion so when i hit enter you will see that uh, we got three results because we limited it to three and you can see in the description there is invasion there is science fiction alien word is there and human alien civilization so you can see that in the description we got these two alien invasion words and further you know let me walk you through a quick example where you can you know apply a query filter as well so again uh, we, we are using the same thing to query alien invasion word but i'm applying a query filter where we have model filters and it must have uh, these condition where the year is greater than or equal to 2000 so if i come here uh, you can see there is this uh, 2008 one is there uh, one is 1898 and the third is uh, 1979 so this will come into the result so when i run this you will see that we got the same uh, result as well so you know this is how you can very efficiently uh, run a kind of a semantic search on your vector database and the uh, quadrant is very fast enough to you know search from thousands of documents and further 
if you uh, go to quadrant official website and under the tutorial section you will find different use cases tutorial as well and uh, under the example section you will find you know different example developed by quadrant just to understand few things about quadrant and you know you can always look into the documentation and here you know different things about the docker image of quadrant like uh, you know uh, optimizing the resources configuration security different stuff so you know i hope uh, this is informative to you and now you are able to use quadrant for your next project uh, however i this video is not sponsored by quadrant but you know i am very much in uh, you know kind of uh, love with quadrant after like since few days i've been using quadrant for my client and my personal project so i thought to create a video on this and uh, finally i hope you have gained some knowledge and if you do so please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace